Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy Care Fresh, and I want to thank you for tuning in to my new video. This is my new blog called Room 824. It's where I discuss and review 824 films. If you're not familiar with 824, they're an independent production company that distributes our house films. Um, films from The Witch, Hereditary, Midsummer, Uncut Gems, classics on top of classics. And so um, they're my favorite production company, with just, just distribution company, so I decided to just review majority of their films. Um, so um, there's a trailer after this short intro, and then there's the review is followed right afterwards. Um, there's a minor spoiler alert within the review, but it's nothing that you can't determine from um, watching the trailer. So uh, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and um, hope you guys enjoy this video. Peace. I may not always love you, but long as there are stars above you, you never need to doubt it. I'll make you so sure about it. Fire! Tell keep up. Get the teeth. I think they're pretty smart. They got ten bucks of my money. I mean, if it if it had been shrunk down to about one tenth as long, yeah. it might have been decent. It was just so drawn out and predictable, and uh, no no action, not nowhere near enough dialogue. <laughs> Are, um, okay. What about like the cinematography and like the? What's that even mean? You like the shot really well? You like the shots? Well, yeah. it was way out in the country in like Norway or something. Iceland. So it's Iceland. It's beautiful. And it's different, so you know you got that. But I mean, I can go buy a postcard if that's what I want to look at. I mean, it, we're talking about the story, the movie. It just, it was just horrible. Yeah. Man, Pablo, what you thought? Uh, um, I thought it was good for what it was trying to do. I think um, it was trying to be all weird and like yep, you know cool shots. Like uh, the colors, I thought were awesome. There were some scenes where like. Everything was like super blue. It I thought that sucked. was really cool. It's um, why don't you just nah, tell the truth, nah, man? Nah, the movie I sucked. Was, I, uh, I give it like a seven and a half. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> Out of ten. Um, I thought it was great. I loved it. Uh, I think that it did everything that you were not expecting it to do. It stayed slow throughout the whole movie. Um, and really wasn't until the very, very end that it gave you what you wanted, which I, and, and it wasn't what you wanted. It was the exact opposite of what you wanted. Um, so I really liked it. I thought the acting was great. I loved that there was very little dialogue. I think their expressions were very, like, good at telling you what was going on, what they were feeling, what they were thinking. Um, I still haven't fully processed it. The landscape was beautiful. Um, yeah, I thought it was, I really liked it. Well, I the acting it had to be good because there wasn't that much dialogue. So the acting, of course, was good. But, I mean, they had, 
scenes in there of just like people washing dishes and cutting <laughs> vegetables. It's like, what does this have to do with anything? Uh, the best it. part about the ending was that you get to leave afterward. <laughs> I will say, I agree with you on that point about the excess B-roll shots of the hand washing. And it's like, I get it, because you need details. But like a story like that, you definitely need details. That, but that's all this was. But, the story is the details. It's, it's a slice of this is their life. Uh, and that's what their see, life is. Get it. Because because farmers, I didn't think okay. they really showed a, a really good um, example of how like difficult and I say they were. Besides the scenes with them just being on this big plane, this big field by themselves. Other than that, like they had to suck out there. You in Iceland, even though it's a beautiful country, but yeah. you're out there by yourself. I think it. Point, okay. I think it did that more in the beginning. In the beginning, it showed them working. Like, I was tired of watching them working in the beginning. And then once the baby arrives, their lives kind of take a turn. And it's Man, all focused baby. on the baby. Can't call it a baby. That's <laughs> not a baby. I was trying to not give too much away. I mean, <laughs> okay, look, a movie's supposed to give you a little bit of the background and the, and the mundane and to show you, okay, they live out in Iceland, way out in, a, in a, uh, their shepherds way out in the middle of nowhere and it's foggy and it's rainy and okay okay but that shouldn't be 90 percent of the movie that's 10 percent to get it set who up who are you to say what should the, mo- what I'm the, the movie i'm the guy who paid ten dollars to see that crap <laughs> that's person. who i am you're yeah, yeah. Table, you're outnumbered no because he just says whatever you want him to all right well. so would you recommend it it was okay or it was trash uh, I would wait for it to come out on a streaming service. Yeah, yeah so would you rather, yeah, no, no theater to watch? No theater. I wouldn't go theater. If you are having a tough time getting to sleep at night, <laughs> perfect movie to watch in hey, bed. Man. To watch in bed, okay? I would recommend to go see it. Yes, absolutely. In theaters, um, go out of your way to go see it in theaters. But if you know bucks. that you're the kind of person that doesn't like kind of more artsy indie films and you're not going to like this. What, what did you get out of it? What, what did you out get out of it? I got out of it was like um, that people go through things in life and it's like they will find it could be the weirdest thing ever to everyone else but within that, within that circle of their life that's what's keeping everything together. Something as strange as a lamb baby <laughs> it, it's this couple <clears throat> just knows that like it's a baby and it's keeping them happy when they're born alive out here farming and shit. I think and what just, I learned from it is to respect nature. I think that there was a lot of symbolism and the fact that the baby was kind of stolen from nature and the humans decided like that baby could have gone either way. It could have been raised as a lamb or as a baby and the humans decided to raise it as a human for their own personal um, like satisfaction. Yeah. Uh, I think the movie is kind of also sending a message. I agree with what you're saying um, about grief and like processing grief, but I think also sending a message about we need to, we need to respect nature. We need to understand that there's a lot, like a hard line between kind of like the wild and wilderness and the and the lives that we lead. Did you and notice after the focus turned to the lamb baby, you didn't see their lambs anymore? That they were raising, it didn't did. show them again. I did. I thought that was a little strange. I thought that you would see the lambs again. Yeah, they stopped showing them. Again. Yeah. I wonder why. I didn't yeah. even think about that until you just said oh, that. Oh no, no, I they think... stopped showing them all together. You didn't hear them. They didn't go out there. It was just the baby. Yeah, it was just her. Yeah, you wonder. It makes you wonder what you know if that was on purpose, and if there was like, uh, oh, after the after this, they let them all go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's a good. That's I agree. That is that is weird. That's a good point. If, if, and it's a good question if it was on purpose or if it was kind of like forgotten about. Um, but maybe the lambs were their babies. Like, I think they were looking to fill that hole that they had when their like real baby now, died. When it started, the lambs were just their job. Nothing but their job. You but every time, every time she pulled, pulled one out, a little bit of maternal instinct came out. But it was still like just this. their job. Yeah. I would Even when she that. clipped the ear, I mean, the oh yeah, yeah, that yeah. Was it tough. was just like straight business. That was tough. That's just business. That was tough. That's just business. another day. In I the wouldn't office. say it was straight business. I think it was a little bit of a blurring of the lines. I think they did what they had to do, but I think there definitely was like some maternal instincts there. I think the group says to 
Just watch it at the crib. <laughs> Don't yep, go to the I theater to watch it. it. <laughs> that's not what uh, I If you're not into slow, um, slow films, don't watch this. Uh, if you're into weird, bizarre Twilight Zone type shit, then watch it. I think if you like dogs, don't watch it. Support, <laughs> support independent films. Go watch this instead of Marvel.